All right, Mike, can you give me an audio check? Copy that. Relatively comfortable in there, over? Absolutely. Everything's go. He was a different little boy. He really was. In the immortal words of Buzz Lightyear, to infinity and beyond. He quit being scared. I don't know how he exactly looked fear in the eye, but he did. A mighty degree, and I've been lucky enough to swim with and film sharks like this for 30 years. The problems of getting those sort of shots depended on people like Mike, and of course there, there, there weren't many people like Mike. He was mostly an explorer because he liked to come back with the stories. It's something <laughs> that nobody had ever seen before. Mike liked the deep because it literally was a final frontier opportunity. To me, it's one of the great mysteries of the sea, why we have so neglected the ocean. Imagine if you just knew about the skin of our own bodies. When I heard on April 20th that an oil rig had exploded in the Gulf of Mexico, it got my attention. It is nearly a mile deep and more than 20 miles long. This injury to the Gulf, where he grew up, he took personally, and he wanted to do something about it. This was a problem that needed solution. This was the footage I couldn't stop watching in the edit room. To the insane amounts of money. Because Mike had so obviously become a different guy. There was a moment I felt, it's just not worth it. The risk is not worth it. It's not worth it to the families to get that phone call. I couldn't even believe that what you were about to tell me was even, the, you know, possible. 